All right, today I'm gonna show you how to remove a KT76 transponder. I get asked this from time to time, especially with people wanting to do ads V upgrades. This is real simple. Grab yourself a three thirty seconds hex head tool. You can use an Allen wrench, but I have this because we do a lot of radios. You just stick it in that little hole in the front. You loosen it all the way up. You'll see the radio starts to dry out from the instrument panel. When you find that that gets tough, slide it out. That one was hanging up just a little bit. On the bottom, there's a little tab there. I can show you how that works. Just pull the radio out. There we go. So here's our old one that we're removing. Here's this little tab on the bottom. So this is the this is the little screw on the bottom. So when you loosen it, I'll put it back in the tighten position here as if it was installed. This tab that sticks out here locks it into the tray. So when you loosen it, you hide that tab. You push this tab on front of the tray, and then as you draw that, it helps push the radio out. So it's real easy. If you have a hard time pulling it out, you might need to just wiggle the bolt back and forth to flip the little cam there. It's pretty easy. So there's the one we're removing, and we're installing this one. We have recorded the serial numbers. We have tested it. It's going into the airplane. Slides in pretty square. Put our tool back in the hole in the front. We want to make sure that that's all the way out. Just kind of wiggle it back and forth till it slides most of the way in. And then you can start to tighten the nut and you'll see the radio is drawing in to the panel nice and tight. You can give it a little push on both sides to make sure it's nice and square. That guy's gotten snug. We're done. That radio is installed. Now it's ready to be tested. Thanks for watching.